Hello, my name is Anaya Tipness, and I'm the CEO of Kamisi. We are an online web platform that connects high school developers with startup companies. Let me start out by telling you a story. A few months ago, I decided to put myself out there and get myself a job, much to the happiness of my parents. I reached out to my school's local job listings, I reached out to my guidance counselor, but I couldn't find any fulfilling opportunities for myself as a student. I wanted a cool job, a job where I could contribute towards the community, I could exercise my intellectual curiosity, and let's be honest, make some money on the side. So while I was on my job hunt, my dad was also having some problems of his own. As a startup entrepreneur, he needed to find a cost-effective way to build his online website's presence. He needed innovative, agile coders that were willing to work with his needs. And as a lot of launch kids in here know, having a startup company generally means having little capital. So he needed to find a way to find these coders for cost-effective price. And he reached out to me about potentially hiring my friends as coders for his company. And that's when Kamisi was born. I'd like to hand it over to Alex Yu, who will talk about our solution. Thank you, Anaya. So our solution is Kamisi.com. We are an online, project-based platform that connects high school developers with startup businesses. On our site, businesses are able to post projects that can be viewed and completed by high school developers. Now, how do we create value in this? Let's first look at it from the perspective of the students. Not only do they earn money from completing projects, they can also earn valuable corporate experience and the possibility of references. Now, from the perspective of the startup, they are able to tap into teen creativity and earn and do their project for an affordable price. Moreover, we benefit from additional transparency, which, which alternative services such as overseas outsourcing simply cannot provide. Now I'd like to introduce David Yuan, our CFO, who will be doing a demo of our website. Thank you, Alex. Now, before we begin, I would like to mention Kamisi.com is a fully functioning website you can visit right now, and it has all the features we are about to show. In the essence of launch, we don't just want to plan our product, we actually want to get it off the ground. So from the business perspective, they can easily post a project name, price range, and a due date they would like to have. They can also input a description where they can put their milestones, guidelines, and other requirements they must have. The business also can add some tags so that developers can find their project even easier. They also have the option of adding a project image or a project files so developers can have a better idea of what they want in their product. So this is their project profile, which all developers will see. So from the perspective of the developer, they can log in and view all the recent projects businesses have posted. He decides this one is a good match and looks over the project profile. He decides to bid on the project. He submits a price he's willing to work for and also further concerns he might have in his description. He submits his bid and from the business perspective, they can view all the bids and make a selection based on price and more importantly, their past portfolios and references. Now I'll have to hand it back to Alex. Okay, so after we match a startup business with a high school developer, we're able to take advantage of two main features of our system. First, we have an escrow system. This is an initial payment provided by the company prior to the completion of a project. This increases security and minimizes risk on both sides. Additionally, we take advantage of a reputation system, which combines a past record with a five-star based rating system, allowing startup businesses to effectively gauge the experience and skill set a particular programmer has. And now I'd like to hand it back to Adaya. Thank you, Alex. Not only do we have a fully functioning website, but we already have a paying customer. Lauren, the CEO of LPJ Beauty, has made a transaction through our site to create a cosmetics e-commerce site for a startup. We've also reached out to 10 and growing interested high school coders, and as of now, five letters of intent from startups interested in our mission. Mark Check, the Vice President of Interactive Technology at the Museum of Science, said the idea was utterly fantastic, extremely well thought out, viable, and timely. And as of yesterday, the CEO of Ecovent, the winner of the 100K competition here at MIT, said that he wished he had our service when he was younger, so he could have a cool job of his own. I'd like to hand it over now to Soam Paul, our Chief Marketing Officer. Thank you, Anaya. I'd like to look at two specific categories market differentiation and marketing channels. 
Starting from the relatively low perceived quality and price ranges, current customers tend to outsource their work to countries such as India and Romania, and at times put up their work on platforms like Fiverr.com. Now, the prices here are low. Fiverr operates at just $5 for tasks to be done, but it's important to keep in mind that the quality is compromised. At the middle of the spectrum, we have freelancing sites like Freelancer.com with high prices, but yet again, low quality. And at the upper end of the spectrum, we have top tier companies denoted by RGA. Now, the average price of a project on RGA ranges from $5,000 to $500,000. So as you can see, there clearly is a gap in the market. And here's where Kamisi comes in to fill that gap and capitalize on it. We capitalize on it by making use of the following marketing channels. We want to promote and host hackathons, reach out by social media outlets, attain search engine optimization, and also partner. We want to make partnerships, not only by high school outreach, but also by partnering with perhaps promotional companies like Girls Who Code and teaching services like Code Academy. And lastly, uh, Kamisi plans to reach out to co-working spaces like the Cambridge Innovation Center. Now I'd like to give it back to David Yuan. So let's have a brief overview of our finances. In our first year, we plan to have around 180 projects based solely off our ability to contact businesses and ask them whether they would like to use our product. If an average project costs around $500 and we take a 10% fee for the intermediation, we can make $50 off each project on average, making our revenue around $9,000. However, our costs might exceed this revenue because we want to do extensive marketing towards our project. So we will make a net loss in our first year. By year two, we'll break even, and by year five, through extensive word of mouth and other advertising campaigns such as hosting hackathons, we expect our number of projects to grow to 20 to 30,000 projects. Our profits will therefore increase to around $200,000, and as you can see by our graph, we expect our scalability to be very flexible and have very high growth throughout year five. Now I'd like to hand it back to Anaya Tiffany's. Though we are focusing on a niche of high school programmers, our vision is to provide an academic platform for any US team to use for their jobs. For our beta version, which we have already released, we are targeting these programmers and partnering with our respective high schools in Maryland, Texas, as well as Massachusetts. By year five, we plan to expand to a variety of tasks ranging from song composition, to video making, to research and development, and, de and data entry. We also plan to expand globally so any company can tap into the talent of the U.S. high school student. I'd like to hand it over to Soam, who will talk about why our team is best suited to execute this mission. Well, before we close, I feel it's important to tell all of you a bit more about us. Alex and David here have created their own applications and have faced the very same problem that we here at Kamisi are trying to solve. Working together as a team, we not only want to bring Kamisi to the next level, but also want to provide high school students with the opportunities of STEM, and also find them more fulfilling jobs and get more experience in the corporate world. We've been here at launch for the past four weeks, have worked extremely hard to create our own company, and if there's one thing I can gather from this, is that high school students too are capable. And that if you love anything and you want to work hard, you can be successful in it. Now I'd like to uh, close the floor and open it up. Thank you.